Today's video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. And it was expensive. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Make It Modern YouTube channel. Currently we are in our guest room slash office, about to redo it for the second time. Yep, you heard me. First time didn't really work out too well. Anyways, let's get right on into it. The first step that we did was use a couple coats of Kills Basic Primer. Now this went on very thick and it needed to because the green that we used was very, very dark. Ultimately, we ended up going with Pure White by Sherwin-Williams and that color was amazing. It was the perfect sheen and we actually found it from another renovation channel here on YouTube, the Brownstone Boys, so shout out to them. The next step is then to take the baseboards off the wall and using some drywall compound, fix any imperfections. Once that was done, we can then move on to our satin black background. So since we're gonna be putting a wood slat wall over this, we just decided that a nice flat black would look the best. Painting out of the way, it was then time to rip a piece of one by two to the correct thickness. So we just got this over at Lowe's, took it over to the table saw and matched it to the thickness of this piece right here. That way, once the slats go up onto the wall, it can flow seamlessly into the floor. This really just saved us a lot of money from having to go out and find the perfect piece of trim that would match. These have been stained with wood conditioner. These have not. As you can see, it also changes the color a little bit. Once the staining was complete, it was then time to painstakingly and one by one put the boards onto the wall. Did this about 45 times. What I did use though was a 3 quarter inch spacer in between to get even spacings and check for level throughout. And as you can see, all of that work turned out perfectly. And even Arlo here is taking some time to admire my beautiful work. We did have some outlets here, we just simply cut around those. And as you can see, we actually painted the wall white over to the left there. This next step here is to make the shelf. I just went to Home Depot, bought a standard one foot long uh, board. This was originally meant for, hold on, you gotta plug in your saw first, come on. As I was saying, you can find these over at Home Depot or Lowe's in the shelving section. This piece right here, it's 12 inches, like I said, cost me about $10, and I cut it down to 8 inches to fit these floating brackets that I also picked up at Home Depot. And then it was time for some couples therapy. We ran down to our local Ikea, picked up, uh, oh gosh, uh, this sofa. I don't even want to think about butchering the name. I want to say it took us about an hour to put everything together and completely went off without a hitch. Everything went perfectly. Well, that is, except for this. Are you kidding me right now? How do I give you a hand? <laughs> didn't see what ice pack he bought, brought me. This is from our Halloween party. This was supposed to be helpful. Knowing that Hannah would not perish from her wounds, we inevitably moved on to finishing the couch. And we picked this couch, one, because it looks great in the space, and two, because it folds out into a bed. So whenever we have a guest, they have a comfortable place to stay. Further completing the office side of the build, we went with this beautiful 60-inch two-tiered desk. It even has LEDs. You know us, we can't resist a party. And for the monitor on the desk, we went with Samsung's 32-inch smart monitor. Now this one's pretty nifty because it has Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, all built in. That way when a guest comes over, they can just simply log in and watch all of their favorite content. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Make It Modern. YouTube thinks that you like this video, and we do too. So go ahead and click that and make sure that you like and subscribe, and maybe comment down below what you want to see in a future video. Until then, see you next time.